support for password authentication was removed on August 13, 2021 from Git. So whenever you try to push anything, it says that. For example, I have a code over here and let's push this one to my Git. So let's add all the files and commit messages just as test. And let's try to push this. Now it's asking for my username, which will be called EC3667 and password. Now, here you can see that support for password authentication was removed on August 13, 2021. So, how do you solve this issue? To solve this issue, we need to go to GitHub. So, at first, what you have to do is you have to open your Git account. So, let's go to your profile. And once you're in there, you go all the way down to settings. Once you're in there, you scroll down and find developer settings. You'll see personal access tokens. You click on that and token classic. And let's generate a new token and we will generate new token classic. You can give any note over here. So I'll just give pass authentication and expiry date. You can put any but. I'll just put no expiration date and you have to select all the check marks over here. Or you can, depending on what you use, you can just put check marks on those things, but I'll just put check mark on everything. And gender token. So this is the token that we will be using in the password field from now on. So we copy this token, we go back to Visual Studio Code and we try to push again. And this time we will give username. And for password, we will put the thing that we just copied, the token and hit enter. And you can see that our file has been pushed into Git. Let's go to our repo and check. So this is a test file. And here you can see index.html has been added. And this is the test, the commit message that I just put in there. And it's now added. Now let's try to push that again. And see if it asks for password again. So let's just add something in body. H1. password authentication done and we just save it we'll do git status and then we'll do git add we'll do git commit messages will be second commit and git push Policing mail. And this time you can see that it didn't ask for any username or password. So once you do that, once you set up your token in GitHub, this issue will be resolved. And if you have put the expiry date on that, after a month or so, your token will expire and you'll have to do this process again. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.